All right, guys, a uh, quick review of this handy little doodad that I picked up for a good price, a Vism Sight Pusher. Uh, they sell two models. Um, they sell one that's a little smaller than this, and then they sell this larger model. It's like the universal front and rear sight. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few features. Um, just actually put on a set of night sights, and it was so frustrating, I actually deleted the video. Uh, and ended up doing one of the sights in my vise with a hammer and a brass punch. And I'll explain why. But anyway, so um, this is your front sight pusher. And it says front. And it's got these little, let's see if I can turn it, these little drop downs. Um, and then your rear sight pusher right here is your rear sight. And it's just smooth across the bottom. And I'm going to show you some features here. Um, it is dog-eared so that you can bolt it down. Um... And I think probably what I will do next time is actually put this thing here in a vise. I don't want to bolt this to the table permanently, but you could vise this big thick chunk here on the bottom and uh, you'd be okay. But, so how does this work? Um, well, you take a handgun slide. I happen to have the handgun slide I was working with here. And you put it through and you raise this bottom platen up until you're pretty much... The bottom of your rear sight pusher is almost to the bottom of the sight. And then you tighten these two screws on the side. And that moves this jaw here in to clamp everything down. Um, to get it clamped tight enough, I did have to use a pair of pliers. Um, everything's kind of in the way. You can't get a real good bite on these with your hands. Um, but anyway, clamp it down. And then basically, you push the sight out by turning this rod. Now this rod comes with a handle in it and the handle is frozen in place when you buy it and there's a little set screw in the end and it comes with an allen wrench to loosen that set screw and i would like it to be like a vice where you could turn it slide it and turn it but with that the way it's made this literally will just fall out so uh, i just took it off totally um just kind of got mad and said fine be that way um because it says right here on it, if I can get it short for the camera, 15 millimeter. And so I went and got socket wrench and a 15 millimeter socket and voila. And that's way much easier, way easier and a lot better leverage and just less frustrating. So definitely worth using a socket wrench if you've got a socket wrench or even a, a box stand wrench would be fine. Um, and you push the side out. And then you put your new site, you get it started, you put it in here, and then you go the opposite direction, and you push your new site in, and voila. The rear site pusher worked really well. The front sight pusher would not budge the front sight. Um, the gun kept sliding loose no matter how tight I got it. I was actually afraid I was going to crack my slide. Um, so I had to put this in the vise in the shop and beat the old front sight out. Um, and then when I tried to push the new sight in, it was too tight and it wouldn't work. Um... And so I actually had to file some of the front sight off, and even then it was pretty tough to put back. Um, and so I did the front sight with a hammer and a brass punch, and I've done videos of that before, and you can watch those. But anyway, um, if your sights are not exceptionally tight, this is handy. Um, but when they're really tight, you're going to need a hammer. So, And then there's a screw that comes in the um, package with it. And... I'm never going to use this. It actually goes between the front and the rear sight pusher. And you can use that as a stop. Um, or you can use it to hold the gun down. And the idea is that you put this in. And they've got this rubber pad that you can put over top. Um, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to line it up with the bottom and the sides. Um, and it's got the rubber that holds your gun in. Uh, it has flat, just flat rubber, and it's got this rubber that has this um, profile to it. Let me get it to focus. So it's got this profile, uh, and you can turn it so that it's fat side up. Come on, focus. Fat side up, or you can turn it where it's fat side down to match the profile of your gun. Um, on a scale of one to five, I mean, this normally sells for like 70 bucks, 75 bucks. I got a really good deal on it. Um, and I'm not really thrilled. Uh, and if I had paid full price, I'd, I would I would be a little angrier. Um, you know, 
out of five stars, I'd give it a two and a half, maybe a three, maybe a two. Um, if your sights are not exceptionally tight, it does do okay. The rear sight for this gun, um, the rear sight, this is a True Glow Tritium Pro sight. The rear sight for this Ruger American pistol slid right out and the new slight sight uh, slid right in. It was pretty, pretty nice, but the front sight didn't work at all. So, and I specifically bought this model because it says it does front and rear sights, whereas the cheaper model says rear sights. It says rear sight pusher. Well, why would you want a tool just for rear sights? I want to be able to do front sights too. So, um, so anyway, but those are kind of your features. Like I said, um, you adjust this guy here for the height of your slide and you tighten your slide up in here. And so the idea is it's got a contact point on the bottom and contact points on the side. And then this guy just whichever way you turn it will push your sights out. Um, it is sturdy. It did dent the new front sight. I'll show you that. Um, get it to focus here. So you see that nice little dent on that front sight there? A little dent right there. That is from the low spot. That is from, let me get a little Allen wrench here. That is from this guy right here. My other complaint about this is if you look at that edge, you'll notice it is not a sharp edge. It is rounded. And I think that rounded edge is bad news for trying to push a front sight. I think that needs to be a sharp corner uh, so that it gets contact all the way to the bottom of the dovetail. And I think that is definitely one of the reasons this does not work so well. It does have these little tick marks, which I think are neat. Um, if you know where your, your original sight was lined up, you could probably, I don't know if you can see those tick marks really well. They're pretty faint. Um, but, I don't know. Like I said, um, if you change a lot of sights, it would probably help you with some of them. Um, but I'm just a little disappointed that on my very first attempt, the very first gun that I want to change sights on since this came in, um, it's one for two. So anyway, um, it was magical on the rear sight. Boy, oh boy, it worked easy. Um, and it is nice because you use real fine threads here. And so if you'll notice when I turn this, you get very, very small motions. So in terms of getting your rear sight centered, um, it's pretty pretty cool same with your front sight you, you know whereas when you're hammering if you use brass punch and a hammer sometimes it'll go too far with just one good solid hit and then you have to try and tap it back um but the one thing i didn't anticipate and i should have known better but i did not anticipate is when you get that sight exactly where you want it when you try to turn this the other direction it's very very tight for about half a turn and it actually springs back so you have to go a little past where you want it and anticipate that spring back um, but like I said, so I took I took the set screws out. So these little handles will just go in the case, and I'll never use them. They're they're garbage to me at this point. I'm not going to use them. Um, and I'll just keep it like this and use a 15 millimeter socket on it. Um, and that's about it. The only other thing I can show you that that's kind of neat is it does have these holes uh, here for the rear sight and here for the front sight and those are to let you see that your jaw is lining up on the sight and not on the slide so anyway that is kind of neat and you can get in there with a flashlight and really make sure you're lined up before you start cranking away on this thing um so that is kind of a neat feature um you know and and if i was a full-time gunsmith i mean if i did this for a living i would bolt that to my workbench close to my vice and that would kind of be my go-to for every site. But I would also realize that it may not work on every site. And I might have to put it in the gun, in, into the vise with rubber jaws and a hammer and a brass punch. So anyway, for what it's worth, um, if you're interested in picking one of these up, um, they are out there. Um, and, and if you're going to change one set of sights, I don't know that it's worth it. Especially if you have a brass punch and if you scrap pieces of rubber and could just vise your gun into the vise. But if you are one of those people that says, I am not taking a hammer to my gun, but I don't want to pay a gunsmith, um, you can pick one up. If you catch one on sale for the price of what a gunsmith would charge you to install new sites, I would buy it. But buyer beware that you may end up having to 
use something else. So it at this point, it's not 100% for me. Um, I don't anticipate changing any sites again for a while. If I do, I will use it and I'll do a follow-up video. And I don't know, we'll see. Maybe maybe this was just a particularly tough one. I will say it, 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 it took some frustration with the hammer to get this site loose. Um, as a matter of fact, here's the, so these come, these Ruger Americans come with Novak sites. I mean, this is the, this is the rear site. And it is a, a genuine Novak site, uh, 564th Allen there. Um, and it, you know, it's hollow in the middle, which I thought was kind of weird, but it came right off. The rear sight was great. The front sight, though, um, I'm going to show you the, the damage. So to get this thing off, um, I'm going to show you the damage. I mean, can you see how much that thing was hit to get it to come off? I mean, it really, uh, I tore this up so bad that I actually put the punch up here on the sight and if I can get this in my hand just so, you might be able to tell. I don't know if you can tell or not. Uh, it's hard to see. But if you put this on a flat object, it is actually leaned slightly to your left. Um, it actually bent the front sight. It was in there so tight. So, um, that may be on Ruger and not on Vism. I don't know. But um, it is the toughest front sight I've ever beat out with a hammer. So it may not be a fair assessment of this. So anyway, there's the facts as I have them. Hope you enjoyed. If you have questions about it, I'll try to answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching.